It is August 27, 2022, 10.53 p.m. On a Saturday night, it's episode 1,796. Let's just cut to the chase here. Um, actually, I was working on another cartoon, and it had a lot of wording in it like I can do sometimes. And when I was done with the wording and the lettering, and I sent it to my two proofers to proof, and right about the time that they said, hey, this is good, I said, actually, I have a better idea. I think I just thought of a better one. And when I showed this one to them, they both said, yep, that's better. I'm about to blog the one that I was doing when I stopped to do this one. And uh, you can go to my blog and you can see that. Uh, comments. Uh, we got a comment from, from Sasha saying, Clyde is getting away. I don't get that. But um, is that a that reference to that Clint Eastwood monkey movie? I don't know. Robert Cotino says, I have news for all these whiners. 10000 is dropping a bucket for how much college it actually costs. And then TJ goes on with a big old spiel about bullshit. But he also says, for your next tune, the redactions prove this administration violated Trump's human rights. You seriously can't be on the side of the darkness. TJ, how do the redactions prove the administration violated Trump's human rights if you can't read the redactions? How do they prove anything when they are redacted? I have a great idea for you, TJ, who likes to say that I... Uh, that, that, that I don't have any statements that are my own, that I don't look at other sides or viewpoints and stuff like that, which I do. If you read the blog, you fucking know that. But, TJ, how about you stop focusing on the redactions and just screaming and repeating the right-wing talking points about those and read the parts that are, that are not redacted? Because the parts that are not redacted explicitly point out and make their argument, make their case about why they needed the warrant and search Mar-a-Lago. They do. If you actually read that, you would know it. You'd probably keep lying about it because that's what you are, a fucking filthy liar, but you would at least know it. And you would maybe stop talking out of your ass. Have a great night. Bye.